Close your eyes and let us fade away Down the secret place for you and me Let our minds be caught up in a dream vlog I have been wanting to film this video for such a long time but Cassidy's nursery is just now finally done we actually after she was born turned her nursery into a guest room we knew she was gonna have open heart surgery and so this was a guest room for a very long time and then from there it ended up becoming storage it also became our seed starting room and so it became a lot of spaces before it became her nursery but come her first birthday, we were very ready for her to be in her own room. We got her in our own room and then all the decorations just came together. So I'm really excited to show you. And for those of you who are looking for maybe like a boho farmhouse mix is kind of what I was hoping for, but it kind of turned a little um, more on my boho side, which I love. And it's this perfect little nook of the house that I got to get all that kind of creative juices out. Um, and if you don't need to decorate your nursery, hopefully maybe you like a couple little things here and there and I can show you where um, I got it and um, kind of how I pulled all of these pieces together. So let's get started and show you all of the beautiful um, nursery decor that came together. So let's start when we first walk in and we just put one of these hooks this is from Amazon. They have a, a bunch of them. I'll try to link everything that I can below. This is just from Amazon. And then I'm hanging my go-to ergos. People ask me of what I carry my baby in. I am obsessed with our ergos and I really love our Sully wraps when they're a little bit smaller. I know you can carry them when they're bigger, but these are just really easy to snap on and just get up and go. And I usually have her on my back when I'm doing some farm chores and I just need to um, be able to keep her at a little bit of mischief. Next, while I'm showing you this tour, I am gonna share some of the stories behind a lot of these pieces. So this uh, dresser was mine as a kid. It was mine in middle school and it came to college with me and then into being married and it is beaten up. Okay, someone didn't want their sisters to babysit him. So are you gonna give the tour with us and show off your room? Yeah. Show off your room? Can we wait? Oh, that is so sweetness, huh? Puppy. And a puppy. Okay, so this was my dresser and while I'm giving the tour, I have a couple of questions that I want your guys' opinion on. We are talking about um, replacing the knobs and making them just like a natural wood to tie everything together and then sanding off this top. So I wanna tell you a little story about this dresser. So when we were chosen for Kinsley for her adoption, the very first night, Philip, <laughs> ah, Philip took this, this dresser actually had two more drawers and it was a little bit taller and I wanted a changing station dresser. And he cut off those top two drawers. Wanna go get Dada? That won't last long. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so he cut off the top two dressers, took the topper and put it right back on top to make it a changing station height. And so this piece is super sentimental. It means a lot to us but it has been very much annihilated. So I'm thinking that we're gonna sand off this top and make this top piece wood and change the knobs to being wood. Did you tell them that we cut off the top layer? Uh-huh, you're not listening to me at all. No, I'm... Okay, so on top of the dresser, I have a couple of things. So all of these bins I have around the house. It comes in a six pack, I wanna say, from Ikea. It has two big ones, two mediums, and maybe four smalls, something along those lines. And I use them as storage everywhere i want to say that pack is like 5.99 i'm taking from the top of my head but it's a great pack to just have organization bins all around the house mama yeah do you want to eat you want to eat okay let me
Let me go get her a snack. Okay, we can get this tour done, I promise. Okay, honestly, these IKEA organizers are my absolute favorite. Uh, this basket came from a girlfriend as a present, so I'm not sure where it came from, but cute little um, basket inside of it, holding my wipes and my diapers. Okay, so in our diapers, we do have disposable. I actually purchased cloth diapers with Kinsley. It was actually a used pack from a friend didn't bother me and it was just something that we were not able to keep up with dream world could we do cloth diapers sure but i love that um i will get comments sometimes that it, that you guys think that i'm a purist in the products that i use and i do i try really hard but there's also a very practical side of me and disposable diapers for us and our family and our three kids that is one of them so we've got some uh, diapers. I have a, just an audio baby monitor. There's no Bluetooth. There's no bells and whistles to it. It's a VTech. My dad actually got this for me, so I'm not even sure. I think you can probably get it at Target. Next on top, this was specific for our third baby and our, our needs for Cassidy. Our other kiddos, we just had um, a changing pad for Cassidy. This is a changing pad as well as a scale. It was worth the investment for us because we had a lot of weight gain and feeding issues when it came to her open heart surgery. She was on a feeding tube. We were trying to bottle feed. We were trying to make sure we were gaining weight. All of the things. When I looked at the reviews online for different baby scales, they didn't, none of them had awesome reviews, including this one. I did not have a problem. It literally was perfect every time. And I know that because we would weigh her even with her feeding tube. And I knew exactly down to the milliliter, exactly how much she took and the scale correlated to that. And so this was super helpful for us. So if you need that, or it would give you comfort, but if it is going to cause more stress and angst, I would say try to avoid um, the baby scale unless it is something that is needed. Okay, moving up. I just love this wall. I think it's so pretty. It's so cute. Okay, so I pretty much did a one stop at Hobby Lobby to finish up the decor in this, in this room. And I got this mirror, this shelf, uh, the glass jar, these... Um, what would you even call these, Philip? Wheat sprigs, kind of? Yeah, wheat. Sure. All of those are from Hobby Lobby. So this sign is actually from my dear friend. She has a wood shop, Take Heart Mama. She sent this to me with um, Cassidy's uh, baby shower present. And her shop is on Etsy. It's called Darling Wood You. And I love all of her things. And Philip laughed and he said, you can only keep this sign if you promise to not keep the stock photo inside of it. Oh no, I promise I am. Next step is going to be replace this with an actual family photo, but it's so cute. So very blessed. These ballet shoes are from when Kinsley was a baby and they were hand-me-downs, but they are designers touch is what the brand is called, but they are very well used. This one I asked for for my baby shower and I'm not sure where where it's from but it's a cute little wooden um, wooden toy so we keep it up here so she has just like these couple little things that she might want to reach for and play with while she's changing and it stays up here so she's still interested in it every time we do a diaper change. Um, one of you amazing wonderful subscribers sent me this beautiful mirror and it says go let your love multiply. And then we love these bags. We have these bags all over our house. This is actually just from Ikea. There's a two pack. Again, I wanna say the two pack is very affordable, but it's perfect just up here. And then, isn't this display cute? Philip, step, isn't that cute? Isn't it? <laughs> Give today's video a big, huge thumbs up if you think this part is cute. I think it came together really well. Um, but I do wanna ask you about what do you guys think of the wooden knob changes and the wooden top? I think it will pull all of this um, and tie it together. Am I doing that or are you doing that? The project? I can, I can do knobs. Yeah? I can totally do knobs. 
Look at it again. Isn't that cute? Mm. Look, her first photo. Aww. And then her like 30th photo, probably. That was our first photos we took at the property. Mm-hmm. Oh, so fun. Um, was that her Nikki bracelet in there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need to, I haven't started a memory box yet. So last question for those of you who aren't going to get to the end of this video, I want your opinions too. Um, now that everything's up, I think the gray is actually really pretty. I was originally going to paint it what we're hoping to paint the whole house, which is pure white by Sherwin Williams. I just think the white would give it a nice clean look and a little bit more tie it together, but I actually kind of like the gray too. So I don't know, give your opinions as you're watching this little nursery tour and tell me what you think of the paint colors. Okay, back here we have two cute little signs. I found these on Facebook Marketplace. I can't tell you where they're from. Uh, the sign says Sweet Gumball Incorporated, handcrafted cards and designs, but I got these on Facebook Marketplace. And the first sign says, Sweet Darling, through your life, let your love be your guide. By doing what you love, you will inspire and awaken the hearts of others. And I just love anything heart for Cassidy is just super special. And then twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you know how loved you are? Very cute. Um, okay. Are you going to tell the story of this brown chair or am I? <laughs> okay. Okay. This chair has a big, huge story. So when we were first married, our friend was a football player for Stanford and he would go to bowl games and they would essentially let them pick out gifts. And he said, I don't need anything. Philip, do you want anything? And in this tiny little catalog, we see a chair and we're brand new, newly married. We don't have much. We were like, a chair would be amazing. Well, my parents get it from him and drive it down to us and it shows up, I'm like, <laughs> this chair, I just absolutely hated this chair, but it was all we had and I was like, it's great. The comfort of it though, however, I did, we both loved. Well, it was in our living room for a while and then I got a cover for it for Kinsley's nursery and it was gray and it was this big, huge gray and then just your taste change, changes. And this color, like this kind of like camel-y, it's not quite a camel color, but we this call col it sam salamander. What do, salamander yeah, what brown. What do we call it? Salamander brown. Because of all the like, oh, yeah. like the, is it a salamander? Like a, like the certain print kind of look? It's the best is we what it is. We made fun of it so much. You made fun of it. <laughs> I fell asleep in it. It's the most comfortable chair in the world. Recline it. Recline it. But it... Um, it's like Joey from Friends, where he's the, got those three angles of... Oh. Totally. But the color of it, I love now. And so I pulled off that, that cover that I covered it up. I love it. It's It fits perfectly in this nook. And honestly, the comfort of it is like a double wide massive good night like i could go back further but i think i just hit the wall it is so comfortable but it kind of is a family joke because of how much i hated it but it didn't matter because it's what we had and it was great and it was awesome but now i look at it and i'm like i would probably pick this out in a store <laughs> is that weird <laughs> on the side of the chair we have another little basket that my girlfriend um, that lives down the street, she is so good at giving gifts. Can you see what you're pointing at? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Were you checking out the yard? Yeah, hold on. Hello. There's animals out there that I like to see. That's why I live here, because it's wild. Don't <laughs> I'm just going to point you here and hope it finds you. No! Philip! Can I show them our yard though? Because I love it so okay. much. This is Cassidy's view. Oh, it's, she has the best view in the whole entire house. Can we like swap rooms and like do that whole thing? Like I love rearranging furniture. Where you want this to be the master? Kind of. Sure. Okay. We'll give Kinsley and Callie our masters. <laughs> 
Okay, so this um, basket, my girlfriend that lives down the road, she is phenomenal at giving gifts. And so this gift just came in a little present from her. So again, I can't really tell you which, um, it's probably local to be honest, but just like a little wicker basket on the side and um, a bunch of books. So we've got just kind of ones where she can point things out and learn things at her developmental appointment. We kind of are practicing looking, pointing. And then here's just some of our favorite classics. We love this 10 Little Ladybugs. This is such a cute little book. This one, do you remember this one? I mean, this one's destroyed. Like, this is since Kinsley was We've born. We've taped that up three times. I mean, anyways, we love this one. This one came from my sister. This one, oh, we love this one. This Hey Diddle Diddle. Mm -hmm. Again, I pretty much, all of the ones down here are just taped and just used if the kids view. book is taped it's well you used know, and well loved. you know it's a good one uh, oh peck, i peck, love peck 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 this is a good one um oh this is our all-time favorite book every single person should have this in their nursery can Ours you is it? ripped i can i have this book completely memorized like i'm i can literally read every single page without looking at it anyway ready here's your test open a page Oh, now I have to start from the beginning. No. Okay, bye. Page. Ready? Mm, should I do from kind of... Vroom went the dump around the... Curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Then into the mud rolled a big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. I mean, yes. Then you Nailed switch it. it. His... his heavy duty dump truck tires were stuck down deep in the muck and mire. Honk! cried dump and he sounded scared, but nobody heard or nobody cared. Then into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. We love that book. So cute. It's so sweet. And it's all about friendship matter matters. So we've got some books on the side. Um, next favorite piece. I love this piece. We, again, found this on Facebook Marketplace. I want to say I've seen it, at least something similar on Amazon. I'll try to find something kind of similar. I've um, seen it in my office for about the last year and a half. I stole it from your office because yep. your office is not decorated. So No, it doesn't need to be. Yeah. It came into the room that's now all put together. It's so good. Okay. Do you want me to go this way and then end over there? Sure. Okay. Um, so this sign, Cassidy Drew. This is also from my girlfriend's shop. So Darling... Oh, she'll never stamp. This is from um, her Etsy shop, Darling Would You. And down here is the um, Arms Reach Mini is what we had on the side of our bed when Cassidy was with us um, in our room before we had to move the crib into our room when she got way too big and she was sitting up and moving all the things. But this was our favorite. We really enjoyed it. Um, we got it on Facebook Marketplace because she only used it a couple of times and she said her kids didn't like it. That doesn't bother us, but um, I have seen it at Bed Bath & Beyond, or not Bed Bath & Beyond. I've seen this at Bye Bye Baby, and I'm sure other places definitely carry it too. Um, this one's called the Arms Reach Mini. I got a lot of questions this year. I'm sorry. This year has like, this was nuts. I think it, we don't, we don't count how crazy our year is until looking back on it. And having a kiddo go through open heart surgery and recovering and all the things. It's and, been a lot. Moving and moving and moving and and pandemic and meeting new people and starting new life and homesteading all the things it's been crazy so I, I apologize if you guys have asked me questions about this over the year and I haven't gotten back to you that's what that is that's why I have it out of the closet so I can show you over here this is um, this is an Ikea piece that is just their little nightstand and I got it on Facebook Marketplace, and when I showed up, just from the picture, I just assumed it was Ikea. I knew what it was gonna look like. It was gonna look, uh, the finish was gonna look like this, because this is Ikea, and they're like raw wood finish. There's a theme. Ikea. And? Uh, Hobby Lobby. And? Facebook Marketplace. That's great. Yeah, <laughs> that's our room. Um, so, th but this um would have been this color and then i felt bad because i had already kind of committed to getting it from her i want to say it was only like maybe 10 or 20 dollars and so i said philip will sand it for me so this is on our to-do list so he's either going to sand it to make it look this color or um maybe paint it 
long term. But um, anyways, for now. A nice matte black would work great. Yeah. It, <laughs> you don't want to sand it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but it would look so good. It's, it's probably because she did an oil base. So if you do an oil base stain, or not even stain, uh, just club clear coat, that's what she did. Um, the yellow is going to, the oil is going to pull out the yellow, whereas a water base might have kept it a little bit closer to this color. But How do you know that? Have you learned something recently? We've learned a lot because of our stuff going on in our house. So we're learning quick. Um, these two little guys I got on Facebook Marketplace, and I've actually tried to figure out where they're from because I really like them. Um, we used them in the RV as storage. They were perfect RV storage. Like, oh, it was so good. Um, but they fit right there and they kind of break up the wood and bring some soft fabric look over here. All right, moving on to her crib. You heard me say it. This one is Ikea. This is an $89 crib, I want to say. And I didn't get it for it being the most inexpensive crib. I just really like it. I just really like the raw wood look. I just think it's really pretty. But there are some raw wood ones that are probably like $400. I was very happy and content with this one. Um, the only thing I was nervous about is in the store, um, I would push on it and it felt very rickety. And I was like, oh, I don't know. But we just went for it anyways. It was probably because it was just the floor model. Because this is super sturdy. I mean, probably not as sturdy as like a $400 crib, but you know what I mean? We've and had adults and babies in there before. I climbed in here the other night, yeah, so <laughs> it'll it'll hold you. Um, down here, I have a bunch of different sheets. This one is from Soli Baby. I have um, a really pretty floral one from Pottery Barn, and I could not find it to put on here to show you. Um, that one's really pretty. I feel like we have such a neutral room that the sheet is going to be like a good pop of some color. I just don't know where they are right now. <laughs> And then inside here, we've got our mattress. This one is a Newton baby. We do our best and we try to do as natural and healthy as possible. So it's got the, the GOTS and um, different green certifications that we really liked. But then also it has this breathable mattress. Pasta. Isn't that cool? <laughs> yeah, it looks like rice pasta. But um, you can be down, like I could put my face through it and I could breathe right on through it. This is really neat. This is a macrame wall hanging. We had it in the RV to kind of add some sprucing up, like bring in some texture in our bedroom. It is from Amazon. I can link that, but we have it really deeply secured with these clips. Um, do you know what these are called? I'll try to link them down below because these are really helpful to hang random They're like items. one inch U clips. We've used them to hang baskets on the wall before. These are actually really helpful. And I'm just trying to decide, do I really like it with this gray? But I think the white would bring out the, the creams and such. So wall painting, painting the wall. If would, we're going to paint, we got to do it I would while do, we're gone. I would do white on all of the walls except okay. the main wall. And then I would do some sort of matte pink. Oh, that would be cute. I like that. So on our crib, I've got a little quilt here for when she's a little bigger. And we use this more as a little toddler bed. This one is just neutral. It's from Pottery Barn. Um, it's just their, their like diamond, um, pattern that just kind of based their basic pattern. So we love that. And then over here is our little, um, kind of play corner. Is it helpful if I do this? It is for very like... helpful. Is it? Yes. It's a, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise they'd be looking at angels. <laughs> okay. So hanging from the ceiling, this is another little macrame hanger I got from Amazon. It was a five pack and I used them all around the RV. These little plastic bowls were from Hobby Lobby, but I want to say they're at least two or three years old. So I don't know if they would have these, but any kind of just like plasticky bowl. Those things went clank like 10,000 times. I think only one of them broke. And that wasn't even was because- it got smacked inside of a slide. I don't, oh, maybe. We broke one. We accidentally broke one. Those things are heavy duty. They're just, they're just some um, hard plastic. Very well made. And then inside of here are um, some Ikea fake plants. This one is called the, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. Lanskrona? F-E-J-K-A. -F -E so, so this is the, um, the droopy plant. And then right up there um, is another little um, round ball plant that I actually got from Hobby Lobby just to fill that spot. 
Um, if we had an Ikea around here, I would go get some more some more plants. It's in Memphis. Yeah. That's a, long it's a little far. Okay, and then down here, I'm sure it won't look this cute forever, so I'm just going to take this in while it's adorable. In this little basket, this is a shop dua. We use this around in the... Um, on the floor in the living room or just anywhere. It was just like a, a portable little um, like almost crib bassinet thing. We loved it. They do have a stand if you wanted it to be like a stand up or you could also um, take this and set it down in your crib too. Um, Remember but when right Cassidy came home, we did photos in the garden. Yeah. In that. I know. She was so little. Hmm. Um, but in here I have some just neutral toys that will probably be filled up with a bunch of baby toys. But in here, these are my favorite little cuddle kind toys. They, um, cuddle and kind, cuddle and kind. So you can even see on every doll, it says one doll equals 10 meals. And so, but I, so I love what they stand for, but I also just think they are just the cutest, sweetest, neutral, neutral dolls. So we have one for each of our girls. I just stole them all in here for this little video. And then some other little, just little toys. Cassidy, do you remember, tell me about that sheep. This one? Mm -hmm. I don't remember. You tell me a story. We gave her that sheep when she was going in for surgery. Oh, we put it in her bed? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Aw. Well, that was our little nursery tour. I have just loved how this has turned out. Just standing here and feeling like it's all put together. It's so cute. I just, I love it so much. So if you guys like her nursery, give today's video a big, huge thumbs up. All of the things that I want your opinions on, on sanding that side table, the knobs, this topper, the paint color, leave it down in the, in the comments below because we have comments back. Oh, it's so good. It's so great to be back on YouTube with comments. That is why we first started YouTube was to have this community to, community to interact with you guys. And we love you and we're so thankful for you. And this nursery is all put together in a big, huge thanks to you. You guys have supported our journey. You guys have watched us try to grow our family, watched us through the ups and downs. Oh my God, Sorry. I'm gonna pass out. You're gonna be okay. You have three seconds to finish this. I'm so hot. We turn the air off for the sound. Let's go. So thank you so much for watching this video and for celebrating our nursery getting put together. And don't forget to leave it down in the comments below on the things I was asking you from wall paint to sanding the nightstand to the topper to the knobs. All the, all the different things or any advice or tips or tricks to um, change this room or make it just a little, oh, a pillow. Yeah, pillow would be, go right there. That would make. What color? Ask them. What color pillow? Right there. That's a good question. What color pillow on the greatest chair known to mankind? Known <laughs> to mankind. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I just want to pause and just say thank you guys so much. It is means so much to us that you've been on this journey with us that you have a lot of you have been around since we have been on the roller coaster to try to grow our family and this nursery is just a big huge celebration of our our growing family and we're just so thankful to each and every one of you and we will see you guys in our next video go let your love multiply bye guys oh my stars one last thing i <laughs> it's such a pet peeve of mine i'm like that's w the one thing that I actually wanted to know where it was from. <laughs> okay, this mat um, right in front of her crib is, again, from Facebook Marketplace, but originally she said she got it from Target. So if you wanted to get them, it's just a tiny little rug, but what I really love about it is when it's pitch black in here, I can walk Cassidy in, or if I'm coming in and she's already in here, I can, once I feel the rug, I know I'm about to run into the crib. So it's perfect. <laughs> right underneath my feet as a little marker of where I am at in the room. And I just think it gives it a little pretty texture. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Mm. Do you guys like Cassidy's room? I love it. I wish we could be in here. Do you guys all three want to be in the same room? Uh-huh. Okay, maybe one day. So if you're waiting to know where that one piece was from, I'm glad I shared it that you didn't get to the end of the video and be like, hey, the one thing I wanted to know was that rug. But that rug is from Target, and I hope you guys like today's video. Bye, guys.